Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. And this is the spot we had all went down in the previous video. So it's been about, I'll say about three weeks since I killed the engine on the Mark II. And since then, quite a few things has happened. It's been weird. Um, like initially the plan was just to go 1.8T and then Jamil threw a spanner in the works and he was just like I want to build you an 8 valve initially I was like mm, I mean I'm not too big of an 8 valve fan but he was like let's do like a 1660 or something something that revs quickly um, and that will be fun to drive and then the following week it was like okay cool maybe let's do an 1850 you'll have a bit more talk and now we've got a 1.80 so I'm on my way to the workshop now I'll show you guys what that looks like but in the meantime I'll drop in the footage that I shot over the past two weeks of them tearing down two 8 valve engines um, I don't know what we're gonna do with that maybe it will be used for another project because I kind of got excited about the 8 valve like doing a fun little rev happy 8 valve that doesn't make too much power but just you can really just hammer on it with the ITBs so we'll see maybe we'll do something with that but for now I'll cut to that footage so guys this is a donor engine it's a 1.6 I'm not exactly sure what the engine code is I don't think it's healthy but it's got the crank in it that we need and we'll see what else we can salvage up here and make work. So this is the head that we've got for this project. This is a 2 litre 8 valve cross flow head. Uh, it's from Mark 5 8 valve but it's it's not the one with the roller rockers so it's just like a similar to the APK head and yeah it should be it should be good with this head on it just need to get a cam for it and all the other bits and bobs I have to turn you're looking my head looking decent these valves are awfully small Get the drill with Andrew and make them bigger, please. <laughs> so, this is the block for the project. I thought that we could use that 1.6 block, but that head won't fit in there. So, this is a 2 liter FSI block. And, yeah, it should accept that, that head. 82.5 and then with the 1600 crank we put it at 1655 cc's thankfully the crank is all good ready to live again tray of goodness so that's looking decent. So we've got the head, the crank, uh, sump, and we've got the block. Just need some rods. I've got ARP rod bolts. So yeah, we're getting there. So guys, this is the second bottom end. So things have been changing a bit. This is a 1.8 T block crank complete, all the bits. So we're just gonna take this complete and just increase the bore size to get it to like 1850. Now that that's out of the way, we are full steam ahead with the 1.8 T project. I am super excited. The car's gonna be a lot of fun, but the handicap is that I'm keeping the current gearbox. 
the O2O is not strong it doesn't take a lot of torque so that is a concern that we have um, we're gonna run the engine with a KO4 001 I think so it's it's a solid turbo I think it's gonna be great it's rated for around 170 kilowatts but to keep things safe we're gonna kind of tune it to 150 150 kilowatts should be fine and then keep the torque just under 300 newtons just so I don't break it and I'm going to have to drive it better than I usually do instead of just like snap changing it and all that stupid stuff that I love to do I'm going to have to just like ease into the shift it's still gonna be fun it's still gonna be good for mountain runs should be great for mountain runs because I have so much torque but yeah that's that's the plan that's where we're at um, I got something else I got a I got a decent ECU this time so previously I was running a dictator standard which I mean it does the job so that's what I had that's what I used but now I got a ECU master EMU uh, classic so it's got all the fancy stuff boost by gear launch control um, closed loop fueling all the great stuff so super excited about that it's actually going to be like a really solid build so I'm pulling up at the workshop now see what's going on here I'll show you the engine and the ECU and we'll take it from there so I need to get a new battery for the wagon it wouldn't start this morning it's currently got the Mark II's battery in it because of lockdown in the car standing all the time it just wasn't charging like it should so yeah this battery is wrecked I'm gonna have to get a new one this week so this is the engine I can't tell you too much about it at the moment all I know is that it comes out of the VW Sharon so it probably hasn't been abused and all it's going to be is abused so it should be it should be good should be healthy hopefully all is well with that yeah super super exciting it doesn't have a turbo uh, but like I said it's going to be getting a KO4 and this is a mess right here but this is like all the eight valves that sacrificed their lives the branch and everything is over there this is a very nice 1.8 over here you know it's been looked after when this is clean like always like fingerprints so it's got big turbo it makes good power I think around 180 ish on pump and 220 I'm gonna just confirm that so this is the ECU, it's the classic, it's got all the bells and whistles in a language that I can't understand. I haven't even opened it yet, um, I should actually just take a look at it while we are at it. So that's what it looks like, it's really nice, bullet aluminium, and the connectors. is gonna be good so we're just gonna do a battery drain test and then fit a new battery because the battery is here I just want to see if there's something that's just pulling current on this battery before I fit a new one does the exact same thing So I'm just getting it wired up just to check what is pulling the power so what we have to do is just pull out a fuse one by one we'll do a test initially just to see what draw is on it and then pull out fuses and just see if there's something that's causing it to just kill the battery we just did a test and we pulled out a couple of fuses I think it's just the battery 
that's gone and just to keep it safe I will disconnect the battery every time I park the car because I only drive the wagon over the weekend because I work from home so I only use it on a Saturday and Sunday and then it just stands so fits a new battery and should be should be happy days yes it is because all those batteries that I had in the car yeah so it's getting a 652 now so I just left the workshop now it's good just to catch up talk about the plan of action how we're gonna do this sort of like a timeline I think the engine should be in within about a week or two just get all the the parts around it on there and get it get the engine in and then Andrew will start wiring it up so I think that should take about a week or two it should take about a month give or take if all goes according to plan um, we are not going to rush it I guess it's just to give you guys some sort of idea um, So that engine, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, the Sharan or Shadon, probably not Shadon, it's like someone's mom's name, um, the Sharan engine, I checked the, the label on it, so it came from a, it's not an import engine, it just came from a, from an actual car, so they've got some sort of history on it, I'll just enter that now, so it's got like just over 150 k's on it we looked into it like you can just check through the oil cap like it looks really clean in there it looks like a really solid engine and yeah that's that's really good to know like it's good to know that it hasn't been like neglected other than it not being abused it's good that it hasn't been neglected so yeah it's like quite exciting I'm not sure how often I'll be able to update if it's every week if it's every two weeks until it's done so I'll sort of just do it at random thank you guys for watching as always like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one